I'm not in favor of that. Okay. Well, so I would like to uh, welcome everyone and open the Georgetown Planning Board April 22nd, 2015 um, meeting. And first up on the agenda, we have approval of minutes of April 8th. Anybody have any comments? Can I make a motion to approve April 8th? Second. 15 minutes. Okay. Second. It's been motioned and seconded to approve the minutes of April 8th, 2015. Any discussion? No discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. They were very good. Three yes, two absent. Um, correspondence. Anything about that, Howard, you want to talk about? or? No. Okay. No, no. Anything anybody want to talk about correspondence? No. I thought it was interesting. They want the selectmen to take charge. Okay. <laughs> Move the selectmen so. to the planning board or is no, the planning board to the selectmen? Just, permitting authority. Just for um, <coughs> people watching uh, at home, the correspondence is from the Town of Newbury Planning Board. Um, and it's their zoning amendments regarding solar voltaic installations. Item three on our agenda are vouchers, North of Boston, Article 33. This was, uh, this is an invoice from advertising in the Eagle Tribune for two dates, uh, the public hearing that the Planning Board held April 14th specific to uh, Article 33. So is the total amount 62282? Uh, 452 and 20 cents. It is not 622 and 82 cents. Okay. The 170 dollars and 62 cents is to be paid for by the Historic Commission. Okay. The committee. So motion from anyone? I move that uh, the board approve uh, the payment of uh, uh, the vouchers to the tune of four fifty two twenty. Second. So a motion has been made and it's been seconded to pay the uh, voucher um, for the uh, North of Boston legal advertisement in the amount of four hundred and fifty two dollars and fifty cents. Any discussion? No discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Three yes. Two absent. Um, next up on the agenda is an ANR. Uh, the applicant will be in at 8 o'clock, so we'll be taking that item up at 8 o'clock. Um, we have two public hearings on the agenda. Um, can we go into those now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, um, well, I'm sorry, it's not quite 7.15. Uh, we can go to other matters of the board. Okay. All right. Other um, under new business, uh, in the packet I distributed to you, um, the Bailey Lane OSRD uh, application. Want to make sure you got that uh, ahead of time. Plenty of time to review. From now on, uh, I'm going to be placing when I distribute plans, and we placing under new business because of some confusion in the past. Good idea. Uh, when did we receive it? So. Good, great idea. That's coming up in May. Okay. Uh, does anyone have anything from uh, any from the public out there? No. Nope. You sure? <laughs> All right. Uh, plan board, any plan board members? Anybody want I have a couple of no one else does. Well, I'm wondering if we if we do want to discuss the um, the parcel F. I, I Harry gave me a call. Sure. And um, One of the things that, that he talked about, and I'm, I'm, I hope it's understood that I'm not speaking for Harry in any way, shape, or form. I'm trying to um, just honor his his uh, request uh, by his in his absence. Um, but he his he voiced a concern about the use of Parcel F being uh, passive recreation only um, because of it, it essentially what it would do would be close the door to um, developing ball fields or whatnot up in the up in the uh, Greenway area and developing it, it, I don't think parcel F is large enough no no sell for exactly an athletic field but it could connection it could give access to it to a parking lot so it w people wouldn't be um, uh, parking uh, on Lisa Lane uh, in order to get there. Um, 
So it is part of a larger greenway. And yes. The idea is that people could park over at the East Main Street facility that's uh, that's going in at New Life behind New Life Church, and to be able to walk all the way over to. In the future, there's some hope for some ball fields outside of Martell, but there, that this is part of that land linkage for park and rec, and this does put one parcel of the many that connect under the care and custody of, of CONCOM. So passive rec, it would just be limited to a hiking, anyhow, a hiking path just due to the, the natural skiing terrain or, and or, everything yeah. else. But whenever anything were to go in terms of changing the site, it'd have to go before CONCOM. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's Turning Leaf had the idea that um, part of the, per well, a part of the permitting approval process we requested that the applicant put in dead end water main stubs for the hope that it would connect through parcel F into the adjoining subdivision to start alleviating the dead end water mains and the water problems that happen in Georgetown especially over in that area mm -hmm. so they'd be they wouldn't have to flush they could just the water would keep flowing through there and flush the lines so what would what, why couldn't they still put water lines through there if it's under the purview of the Conservation Commission uh, they could still but they would have to file with CONCOM in order to go in and dig a trench and, and put the water main through and wouldn't they have to file with CONCOM anyways if they were going to do that if it was in the planning board even if it was the planning board's review yeah right I think so so depending I, upon what what the route was yeah so I think I'm just talking and, out loud and I'm glad you brought it up and I'm not even certain that they would need to dig a trench I know Back near the, the town water department, they uh, basically drilled under the Parker River to connect the well field and the and the filtration unit. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, if it's sensitive, they probably want to be. Now there might be ledge. I don't know all of Cause the what issues. I'm, but look, so so there's the water line issue, um, and uh, what was the other issue? The uh, connect the connection, and is that about a road? No, or it's just a. a, a a path, a, a mulch path, or a, a jogging path. And that would be what the park and rec would be looking for? I believe so. I, I can't speak for park and rec, but that's all I think they're expecting to be able to use that parcel. Because I, I passive, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I had thought, though, that they were talking about <clears throat> the potential of putting parking up in the greenway so that there could be access to ball fields back back in a while. Farther back, but not on parcel F. They, they, no, not on parcel yeah. F, but using that as access to a parking area. Meaning yeah. a well, automotive well, drive. The, a water, driveway. Yeah. the water is extreme. I mean, we had some owners, we had some abutters, and they all said that they couldn't see anything that they could possibly use there because it was so badly I remember when, when they couldn't get to it I walked it yeah it was so that's my concern is right. that you know we, we're spending a lot of thousands of dollars millions recently in town for recreational fields and I think this would be another uh, sensitive parcel of uh, land that would need a lot of work to right. make it Remediation and something to play on, or stuff, field yeah. it, it would need extensive money thrown into it, and I just think that's not the way to go. I just think that. So, so um, as far as putting a driveway in there, if that was something that <coughs> Park and Rec wanted to do, to have some sort of drive to connect to a parking lot, mm -hmm. you're talking about, they would still whether we were. Correct me if I'm wrong. They would still have to go through Conservation Commission to put a driveway in there. Right? If it was in CONCOM's jurisdiction. And isn't in, that land in their jurisdiction because of the wetlands? Not all of it. There's not some upland that's outside the 100 foot buffer. How no, they on would be able to. What's that? It, on parcel all, F. All <laughs> parcel F is upland considered up. No, no, no. There's that's what the, the, Parcel F has some wetlands under the jurisdiction of CONCOM, anyhow, but there is some upland area that because what I okay. is outside of the hundred foot setback that, okay. that they could possibly do a path through or something like that because oh, yeah because what I, I think that would because what I I would go for that but if the whole land it's my understanding if the whole parcel is under the care and custody of CONCOM I, then anything that happens in that parcel would need to be reviewed by that so and I and I'm trying to play it out that that 
if, if they wanted to put a driveway in and they were going to go to CONCOM, because CONCOM is responsible for all of it, they're going to try to do it in the least um, impactful way possible and use the highland and you know talk with Steve and see how to best do it. And they would get it in. And if, if we were involved with that, I would want them only as one member to be putting it as much out of the wetland as possible. Right. Um, so I, I guess where I'm going with that is I'm, I want to respect the Conservation Commission's uh, position and, and also see if what we're doing will allow for Park and Rec to still do what they want to do. And I, I'm not hearing and I'm not aware of any reason why Park and Rec still couldn't do what they want to do, but they have to go through Conservation Commission. Well, Park and Rec, has, has, if, if I'm not mistaken, they have not made any request at all. Until that, that, you brought it correct. to come to us, you know, yeah. Yeah. they yeah. haven't made any requests. So that is correct. You know, uh, are they waiting for town <coughs> meeting and then do it? I don't, I don't know what the plan is. Well, I, I so I, I, I think that Harry had connected with Jim Dem, uh, Demento. Yeah, and just just in the, so it, in um, so with um, hey Tim, hello Tim. Hey. <laughs> Seven fourteen. <laughs> no, there's no one here, so I thought I'd just have a little fun. Um, oh, so um, so this morning um, received an email uh, from Harry. I think it went mm -hmm. to everybody. Yeah. Okay. So so there was that email from Harry that everybody got about uh, Jim coming tonight and about putting together some information, perhaps for up top and. And my response to that was it's too much at the last minute um, for, for, for Howard to mm -hmm. scramble with and for also for us to have that kind of conversation in, in that kind of depth. And so I wasn't aware of, um, so because of that, I said, I called Jim and left him a message. I did hook up with him. Um, but I had sent the email out first to everybody to not have Jim come mm -hmm. for that because the parcel left discussion so that that was why right that was why right um, because it was last minute and um, so Jim did call me back and he got that message so he won't be here tonight um, so that's just FYI okay um, I, I I'm yeah, he's invited to the next meeting of the planning board yeah and so if our the extent of our engagement in this really is to make a recommendation to the selectmen uh, about the warrant. I think we did it, already. I, you we did that's, that's, already. That's really my point. Our role is already done. Satisfied, right? I think, that's over. and I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to divine what Harry's thinking about, and that's a dangerous thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> love or you, anyone. Love or you, anyone. Harry. Love you, Harry. That. Trying to get the planning board to come up with a position to bring that we can talk about it to, bring to, to then bring meeting. to the town meeting floor and put on you know an amendment um, to to modify the warrant article to see if the town would accept it as planning board for the following reasons and uh, for myself I'm not comfortable doing that this quickly at the last minute but more importantly. I don't see any reason why we have to. I think if they, if Park and Rec wants to get a, a driveway through there to connect with parking and a water line, um, they're going to have to deal with conservation commission issues anyway. anyway. And um, even if they came to us and it was our purview, we're going to have the same similar response to how you put a driveway in there as conservation commission mm -hmm. is going to. And I'm trusting that conservation commission is going to work with them. And I'm trusting that Conservation Commission is not going to just say no. And um, I personally, I, I, I would prefer not to get between <laughs> these two other boards. I agree. And, uh, I agree. My thought had always been uh, really passive uh, recreational usage, that there should be trails back there. <coughs> um, I know that near Martell, there is a um, great blue heron rookery. And I would be really hesitant to get enthusiastic about putting a lot of ball fields, you know, within within yeah, shouting distance. 
of uh, some, something as sensitive and awesome, mm. as nesting uh, great blue herons up in the top of these trees. Are you a birder? Oh yeah. Yeah, I gotta talk to you. Yeah. Solid. Solid. Yeah. Great. Okay, so I think we've had a good discussion about it. All right. Um, I think we we uh, we have some issues with our own zoning to for the chairman to get up and talk about at town meeting. You know that's. That's Correct. <laughs> Correct. Um, I um, was surprised when I asked Howard before the meeting started tonight, how many meetings do we have left before town? <laughs> he said none. And he said none. Around the when, corner. <laughs> when exactly is it again? I got to be. Well, it's, it's after 7.15 if you want to open the okay. yeah. public hearing. All right. Um, I'm thinking we have plenty of time to figure out our roles going into the public hearing. <laughs> okay. So we will come back to uh, members uh, or public report items, and we're going to go back to the public hearings that are to open at 715. And we have Pondview Estates up first. Um, decision of the approval, and it's the first public hearing, and I, we need to open up the public hearing uh, with a motion and a vote. I make a motion to open the public hearing for um, Pondview Estates. The rescission of approval of the definitive the subdivision. of approval. I second that. Okay. I thought the we motion were already done that. I <laughs> seconded <laughs> to uh, open the public hearing for Pondview Estates, rescission of approval. And um, I brought this matter to the attention of the board a few weeks ago. <laughs> where I gave you a draft copy of the rescission of approval uh, and a brief description of it. Because the approval of a definitive subdivision was made during a public hearing, it is a requirement of Mass General Law um, for you to hold a public hearing to um, discuss and rescind the approval of a definitive subdivision. So that's the purpose of tonight's meeting. Uh -huh. um, I have amended. Uh, the notice of decision uh, to properly uh, include dates uh, and uh, date of the public hearing. So nothing else besides just uh, those items have changed since the last copy was given to the board. Okay. Great. Anyone have any um, questions? This is it now. We're all done. Yeah, it's now up to the property owners to, to take care of their business, to take care of the easement. So if there's no, if no one really has any questions, what we need is a uh, vote to sign uh, the order uh, by the chairman, I guess, is the signature. Is that correct? You need to sign the, the front as chairman, um, Rob, and then the planning board members that are present at the meeting need to sign the second page. The, uh, the third page. Got it. So uh, with with okay. the motion. Okay. Did did you um, did you uh, author this or? No, I I had town council. Oh, okay. Um, it is just to mention. It says rescission of definitive subdivision approval turning leaf on the very top. Okay. On page two. I, I know that that's <laughs> that, that's a. Uh, uh, where, where are you? That's been page it's the, it's two. Page two on the very top of page two. That's very been top. Oh, that, okay, that can easily be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but I figured you would want to fix that. Catch fire. Need a third eye. Third eye blind. Uh, so, with with that uh, modification of the um, decision to rescind. Was this the issue the guy wound up with not enough frontage because there was a, a lot um, next to his that had been carved out of this? It's it's the um, he came here. The pot, he he did. Yeah. Um, he purchased the lot. It was released from the subdivision, and it should not have been without 
this activity occurring. Yeah, there was a road that was going to be in the middle. That was of his it. frontage, but um, right, it was reverting back to a previous um, pre-existing lot, a pre-existing condition. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. his his frontage was no longer being considered on the way that was removed with the ANR. Right. But right. his problem was that there was still easements on his property for the purpose of drainage, that road that will never I be I recall, filled. that's right, I recall. And he can't yeah. do anything with them there. Right, so. right. Howard, is, is, the, um, is the motion something to the effect of the rescission of the approval of the definitive subdivision plan issued by Georgetown Planning Board? Yes. That would be what the motion yeah. would be? That, that would be fine. Okay. Um, so. So moved. Oh, okay. So the motion's been made and it's been uh, Second. seconded. Uh, Motion made by Tim and Robert. Um, any discussion? Okay, seeing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Uh, one absent. Great. And they just need a vote to close the public hearing. Uh, I'll get these signatures here. Motion to close the public hearing for the decision of the subdivision. Second. Okay, it's been motioned and seconded to close the public hearing. Um, for the rescission of the approval of the definitive subdivision. Uh, any discussion? No discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? One absent. Okay. Um, Motion to open the public hearing for 70 West Main Street. All right. Can I get a motion to open the next public hearing? I move we uh, open the uh, public hearing um, regarding 70 West Main Street site plan approval. Or actually, this is a continuation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continuation from March 25th. <clears throat> the planning office reached out to. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Can, you can have I get a second on that? Second. Second. Uh, the motion seconded to uh, open the 70 West Main Street public hearing. Uh, any discussion? No discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Did you say? No. Okay. The uh, town planner reached out to the attorney representing the applicant for the 70 West Main Street site plan approval um, regarding the status of their uh, application because their form H was set to expire at the end of uh, May. Uh, end of June and their public hearing and be continued to today's date. Um, they uh, sent a letter on April 16th, uh, has been copied in the packet, <clears throat> requesting that his application be withdrawn without prejudice. So um, that just needs to be accepted by the board and then you can close the public hearing. I move that the application for work at 70 West Main Street um, be um, that, that we approve you accept. its we accept its withdrawal without prejudice. Second. Okay, it's been motioned and seconded to um, accept the withdrawal of 70 West Main Street application without prejudice. Um, any discussion? No discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm opposed, and one absent. Okay. Does that mean he's not moving? The Rich Dales is staying where it is. They might come back with a new application, <laughs> but I don't think they can stay where they are. I know the public hearing's closed, but I, I do just want to mention I I, I know I, I appreciate uh, attorney. Thank you, Gary Evans. Um, it, in it, what he says, dear Howard, thank you, and the personnel at the town hall for being knowledgeable and helpful and professional during the process. And that was nice. Mm -hmm. that was nice. Um, okay, so that takes care of public hearings. Uh, the ANR is on at 8. And let's go back to member public report. And we were talking about what we're going to do on the floor for we have some of our own warrant articles, correct? Um, so. Uh, let's see. We have the solar bylaw. Copied um, in the packet um, under Exhibit 1 
in the back. Uh, under planning office, uh, exhibit number one, I've included the edited versions of the amendments that were proposed by the planning board for the warrant as edited by town council. And um, if, do you need to see it, Rob? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking um, for it. It's <laughs> under, <laughs> it's under um, this the, the planning office. It's under planning office. Yeah, a couple more pages. There back. it is. Uh, I'll note that uh, he didn't have any recommended changes to Article 28 definitions and word usage, subtractions and additions. Uh, under Article uh, 29, solar energy facility, there was just a few minor um, editing. Uh, I, I see that his recommendations on edits and comments as not being uh, changing any of the content or context. It's just uh, to clarify. I thought there was a lot here. It was like 15. And then I was reading those, and I said, no wonder I have a hard time understanding the solar. When I was reading them, I thought there was a lot. There was a, f a few. Um, just adding or, or removing some uh, extraneous text. How are we going to, Mr. Chairman, how are we going to handle that? How do you handle that on the floor? <laughs> This is these edits are what's on the warrant. These edits are already made and they're already in the warrant. Right. Oh. I'm just informing the board of of. I was misunderstanding. Yeah. Me, yeah, me too. Got it. Got so it, got we it. don't have to do anything. No, I'm just letting you okay. you know that the solar bio is actually a lot better this time than the first time around. Hopefully. <laughs> um, well, that's a nice thing. That's a kind of gift. <laughs> And then he didn't have any uh, changes to Article uh, 30, the use regulations and intensity of use schedule, the modifications being made. Um, the one note about the affordable accessory housing uh, is that the warrant is showing it as being proposed by the planning board and it's actually being proposed by the affordable housing task force. Oh, great. Um, and so his comment um, really needs to be addressed by the task force. Are they aware of that? They're being made aware of it. They'll have to address it if they can on the floor. But it's a rather, uh, it appears that this will be best equally difficult, perhaps more difficult to obtain an affordable accessory apartment special permit. Uh, Please confirm that this is what is intended. And I, and I believe, I understood it to be that was the intention. I mean, they, they repeatedly had said it's going to be more difficult for the applicant to get a special permit because of the state uh, guideline that had to be followed. And, and I think they understood that. Is this page 22 of 23? 21 of 23. Is the beginning of that all, right. all across the Affordable accessory housing. Yeah. But you, did, you, did you send that to them so the task force can look at it? Yeah, you're right. So when, when we come to the solar bylaw, um, Beverly looks to someone from the planning board to give a brief overview of it. And um, typically, uh, the solar bylaw was before my time. Um, I'm, not, I'm not passing the buck, but it was before my time. Um, so so you, do we you call guys... you Gramps then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so don't look at me. I'm not, I... I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to come to grips with <laughs> the whole bylaw that you guys wrote. So, um, I don't know, uh, maybe someone can, uh, can, um, get Harry to I'm answer sure, questions. I'm sure Harry would have no problem. Would you, would you uh. think? That would be reasonable. How about you, Tim? Right. You, you got Wait. knowledge of this solar. Really. Can you answer these questions that might come up? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, I, answering questions, I'm more comfortable with that, being familiar with generalities, but, you know, for explaining this on the floor in a summary format that's accurate, I, I, I feel more comfortable. In, in a paragraph. It's, it's usually we can, we can accomplish that with just the purpose and intent part in the beginning. Mm -hmm. 
if there's questions. Okay. So, um, will will would you put together? Sure. A written paragraph for the for each of the bylaw amendments. For each of the bylaw amendments. Yeah. For the person to prepare read. the speech. Great. Yeah. Okay. That would be great. And then, so that's for solar bylaw, the definitions, the use schedule modifications, and then the affordable um, accessory apartment. That's not planning board. That's task force. Task force, and they're being notified of that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, then we need to decide who's going to. Uh, everybody want to grab one? You guys want to grab a paragraph that Howard's going to. Yeah, I can stand up and speak too. So you want right, to do it? There you go. Howard. <laughs> <laughs> if if need be, I'm I'm I attend the meeting. So introduce yourself. Yeah. How about? How, I think that would be great to have the town planner do it. If you want to do that, that would be Just great. Just give me an outside seat so I don't have to say, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Knock over popcorn. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Well, that uh, takes care of that item. Um, uh, two things, uh, three, the three items that I had was, and one has already been taken, um, and that's a formal request of Park and Rec to come to us. Uh, and that's on the next agenda to present yep. the big picture, uh, parcel F, the big picture. Um, the uh, question mark about Elm Street update from Pete Durkee. He's been busy. Yep. Um, I'll You're keep corner. Busy. Yeah, I'm on him. Okay. Um, and if nothing else, just a question of where he is in the process. Like drawings are done. They're in the concept phase. They're going to have drawings done. Yeah. Okay. Shouldn't take them long to respond to that. Um, and then the last thing is, uh, I just wanted to talk about the, the, our last public hearing, where we, um, you know, had the uh, bylaw in front of us uh, for the density issue downtown. Um, and it, what I took away from that was a process that that worked, and I took away from it um, uh, the selectmen had had brought it. Uh, the selectmen are bringing it, have put it on the town warrant, um, brought it through a questioning period where we had it last meeting, and everybody seemed to be in agreement that it's just uh, too early in the process, and there's just there's there are too many questions associated with it, and so I'd like to officially suggest that we, as a planning board, um, you know, officially ask uh, in writing the selectmen to. Uh, um, to someone representing the selectmen to, to say that, um, assuming this is what they think, and this is what I, I would, I'm, I'm thinking they're on the same page, that they, they do not support the passage of this um, ordinance. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's what they said. I, I'm yeah. not sure, though. I mean, they'd like... Was but that was three of them. Well, then, yeah, then, then if nothing else... I, uh, maybe they need to. Well, they're not going to have time. Well, they were, there was so much that was addressing the meta question of Mr. Olson's property, and that it, I think he did a, a great job trying to separate that from the impact of this warrant article to, to the town. Right. Um, there are a lot of things. What was it? The R forty. Yeah, the the forty B. 40R? Yeah, 40B. 40 40 40 no, not 40B. It was 40R. 40 40 it was the... The overlay district. The overlay district, right. Um, the, the Board of Selectmen had been notified with the Planning Board's recommendation of, of what the Planning Board believes are the errors um, of it, as well as what the opportunities could be if it weren't completely removed, but if it was modified through studying um, the, the density controls. Exactly. Of it and, so. and, and septic. How that can possibly well, the be managed? Well, always falls to the Board of Health anyway. In the end, in, well, in the I end, mean, unless there's something, they're the only ones that can make that call. We can't write that into the zoning. No, no. Bylaw. But I think that's that's an issue for downtown, considering what the, guess, land, the land is. And I guess, I guess what I guess what I'm struggling to. Uh, to achieve is the board, all the boards working together, and the selectmen working with the planning department, and working um, with the citizens, uh, you know, 
Petition who, who, who originally started to put this together. Mm -hmm. And based on the meeting we had, having the selectmen come out clearly with their vote if they are not all unanimous on it, but just saying one way or the other where they stand on this as, as a selectman, as, as, as the selectman's office, um, since they were the ones that brought it forward. Um, so that all the so that the townspeople sitting in the audience can say, okay, here's the group that brought it forward. They've done their due diligence. They're now saying it's not quite ready by a three to two vote, or it's not quite ready by. They are all saying mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. not ready. It's not ready. I think that's really important information for the townspeople to yeah, have. I agree. And and I'd just like to the planning board to have Howard send a, a request from the planning board. Um, you know, on behalf of the planning board to, to be prepared. To articulate the position. To articulate your position. And whether or not they do it, we have no control. Now, the chances are they're going to do it at town meeting. I mean, and... What, what I'd like to see them do versus, it versus the politics of it where one person gets up and says, this is how I feel, mm -hmm. versus another... I'd like them to get up and say, as a selectman, as, as the selectman as a whole, the board... You know that, that that this is where we are with that. Um, they may or may not do that, but I think it's a I think it's a fair. I think if it's a reasonable request. Able, yeah, um, I think it's a good request. What do you think? Okay. Yeah, you guys are you yeah, guys sure. support of that. Well, I, you know, it just seemed to me, um, among other things, is that there should have been communication from the planning from the selectman's office to to us or to Howard to say, you know, what do you think of this or do you think this will fly or whatever? But I was disappointed in that. There was no communication. I know the selecting one of the selectmen's goals is that one of the selectmen goes to all the boards and and usually it's Gary. He attends quite a lot of meetings. Uh, I don't know about the ever, the others, but anyway, you know they they're trying to communicate better, but they I set some uh, good policy up by closing the warrant so that people can come forward with with new ideas or petitions or whatever the last minute and I th thought that was that was a good management uh, process well, I mean the problem I think and then to open it and change their mind I, I think I, 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 I think um, I, I'm guessing it's just me just guessing, but I have a hunch if they were to be in this position again, they wouldn't do it quite the same way. Mm -hmm. that, that's my guess. And, and I hope not. It, it, <laughs> it, you know, it, it, it is what it is, and let's all, you know, let's move forward. And yeah. I think it's, I think just, it's, I think it's going to work out fine. You, I hope they realize that you just can't knee jerk and do an amendment. I mean, this is solar, for instance. This is the third time round. I think. You know, I think. I think they. You know, I think it's they taken that. us quite a yeah. while. I think they heard that. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, so that's that. That was my only other um, member of public report. The only other item we have on the agenda is the uh, ANR at 8 p.m. and it's. Um, so you've got some M accounts. M accounts to release. Oh. Got it. Thank you. Okay, M accounts. Uh, the, the first uh, M account is 26426. It's for BMW Press, uh, location of 401 East Main Street. Um, the funds are able to be released. Uh, the account balance is uh, approximately $2,128.28. The site plan approval application was approved by the planning board uh, November 14, 2001. The decision approval and the permit granted uh, have since expired, so the funds can be released and the um, escrow account closed. Okay. So, can I get a... Uh, motion to approve the return of funds? Yeah. For B&W Press. Second. So, the motion's been made and seconded to um, approve the release of funds for M account number 26426 B&W Press. In the amount of... In the amount of... $2,128.28. Two thousand one hundred twenty-eight dollars and twenty-eight cents. Um, any discussion? No discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Did you get an aye from you on that one? Aye. Release of the I'm funds? Sorry. No problem. <laughs> uh, and one, one absent. Twenty-second. Twenty-second. Oh. Um, okay. Next M account. 
uh, M account 26458 East West Realty Trust. Uh, this was for their, if you recall, their site plan approval when they were looking to locate their Mira Company um, buildings at the end of Carlton Drive. The site plan approval application was approved by the Planning Board on March uh, 15, 2005. I remember that. The decision of approval and the permit granted have since uh, expired. The amount currently uh, in the escrow account is estimated to be three thousand five hundred twenty-seven dollars and five cents. Just close the account. Mr. Chairman, I move um, that the board approves uh, to release the account balance of three thousand five hundred twenty-seven dollars and five cents to East West Realty Trust. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. So there's been a motion and it's been seconded to approve the release of funds for M account number 26458 East West Realty Corporation in the amount of $3,527.05. Um, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? One absent. Okay. Last M account. Uh, 26504 for Hydraulics Plus. This is 105 Rear East Main Street. Hydraulics Plus was the, the uh, site plan approval application for the company to locate into the first floor of what was uh, formerly Danvers Block, Danvers block um, in the back. Yeah. Now, unlike the first two M account um, where the approval, the decision and approval of lapsed, um, John Mativier and I had walked out there and uh, looked at the site plan um, approval, the decision, as well as the condition, and John didn't have any discrepancies or any issues with the permit uh, that he had issued for them to move in, and I didn't see any either. So um, conditions of the site plan approval plan and decision approval have been met. The M account to close the account balance of $190.82. Can I get a motion for that one? Uh, yeah, I, I move we um, release to uh, Hydraulics Plus in the name of Constantino Ricci uh, the amount of $190.82 since the project is complete and satisfies. Uh, is it the building inspector? Uh, the building inspector <laughs> is, is satisfied and, and the town planner is satisfied. He's met all the conditions. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, it's been motioned and seconded to approve the release of funds for M account 26504 Hydraulic Plus in the amount of $190.82. Any discussion? No discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Just to update the planning Aye. board, there's <laughs> about 18 um, M accounts uh, remaining. Wow. Um, Great. <laughs> it's, it's down to one page. Um, from quite a few more. Uh, about eight of those are, are active. Um, one is so old there isn't any record, so it's always going to hang on. Um, but there's the uh, most of them left are site plan approvals that we need to go back and revisit uh, to see that they met the conditions. And there's even the possibility that some of them have changed ownership. So. Andrea has got quite the uh, skill in hunting down the oh, information and, and doing her gumshoe work. Lady, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I've got to say, Howard, I think Great. you've done an outstanding job. This has been like, since I started on the board, yeah. just little by little just by little by little, little by little yeah. by little you by little it. by little by little. And uh, it just helps with. Less spinning plates, that's all. <laughs> right, right. Stuff that has to be done. Yeah. But I commend you on your effort. Really. Okay, so um, I think that uh, that takes care of it, correct? Yeah, and Jay's here. Jay's here. Yay. Can we start earlier than eight? Yeah, it's not a notice public hearing. Okay, great. All right. Jay, you can come up. They, they all have copies of your plan. Um, um, as well as a copy of the Form A. 
evening. evening. So this is the uh, NR 161 175. You're actually early. You said you'd be here today. That's Main Street. <laughs> but your apology is well lot accepted. Line, lot line adjustment. <laughs> Howard, do you want to give us an intro on it? Yeah, yeah um, if you look at the plan, the, a, the form A uh, is uh, for 161 and 175 um, rear East Main, uh, West Main Street, and it considers uh, property uh, that was subject to a previous uh, site plan by the planning board. Uh, I looked at the Form A and the land being moved from uh, 161 to 175 rear uh, will not remove or impact, it will not remove property that was subject to specific conditions of the site plan approval. And uh, it, that was my largest concern. It creates uh, another lot uh, or it, it takes the land from 161 and adds it to an existing lot of 175 rear and um, creates adequate uh, square footage for the lot. Okay. Do you want to uh, add anything to all this? That's, that's pretty much it. Um, <clears throat> the lot that's labeled 175R um, was created fashion sort of when they took a little bit of land from the previous owner to move, uh, so relocate the turns and pass away. So there was some discussion about whether or not the parcel was buildable as it was because it was made non-conforming by a taking. It seems simpler and cleaner to just try to add the 4,700 square feet to it. Well, I remember that Good. site. Uh, the um, garden when they were doing that, the, the drain was in the back by the parking lot. Is that going to uh, affect it when you, if you're planning on building or anything? <clears throat> there is a manhole in the middle of the parking lot. Yeah. Um, I can't see how that's going to be impacted. Um, the runoff from the from the potential new roof is going to probably get infiltrated into the ground through dry wells. Um, so it's going to be yeah. It's going to be a, the a same size lot. It's like a um, <clears throat> yeah, it'll actually end up being flatter probably when it's finished. Yeah. So the whatever existing slope there now will be leveled off more. So there should be less mm. certainly less velocity of water that would go into the parking lot. Mm. How would uh, so from an ANR perspective does it have it has the necessary frontage and all in the basic Yes. So there's no issues. Okay. Just a ways, a public way, adequate frontage. Uh, I believe the access from the public way onto the lot is, is adequate. It doesn't impact any special permits. No. Right. And, and I'll note that because it is an A&R for two properties on the form A, there's uh, the owner's signature and as well as authorization from the owner of, of uh, 161 West Main Street that he's aware of the ANR application. Great. I don't have any questions. And you usually write on there, Dr. Thurman, that this does, does not mean that. that that's uh, on the plan. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Um, endorsement by the planning board is not a determination as to conformance with zoning regulations. Okay. It's right above the signature block. Okay. Any questions from you guys? Is that? All right. Can I get a motion here? Make a motion to approve uh, this AR, 175R, and 161 with the Do I get a second? Second. So the motion has been made and seconded to approve the ANR plan of 161 plus 175 R West Main Street as per plan showing lot line alteration of same. Um, so Jay has any a, a mylar here 
Okay. And Jay, just that mylar is exactly the same of what the board saw. Should be. Should be. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, that is correct. It should yes, be. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> We're going to sign it. Um, any uh, any discussion? Um, seeing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No opposed. One missing. Right. So basically, uh, you can sign the mylar. Um, but also, there's a form B that the planning board endorsed on April 22nd, 2015. Uh, it's a statement that application for endorsement of plan is believed not to require subdivision approval. You are hereby notified the planning board took the following action regarding the plan and title lot line alteration. Submitted by the above applicant on April 15th, 2015, accompanied by a Form A application for determination by the Planning Board and just states that they endorsed it. So whoever is going to be signing the mylar also needs to sign the Form B. Do we need to do have any motion and, and vote on Form B? You can make a motion to... To endorse. To, right. to uh, endorse by adding uh, your signatures to the mylar in the Form B. All right. So um, motion to that effect? So moved. Got a second? Second. Okay, so it's been motioned and seconded to endorse the Form B. Determination of the subdivision approval is not required. Um, planning board members to sign Form B document. Any discussion? Any no discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? One missing. All right. So, sure. Um, yeah. <coughs> this so it's form B we'll sign that and I don't think there's anything else Howard is there anything else because we can close the hearing the meeting tonight yeah and then we can sign yeah right yeah. okay so uh, do I get a motion to, motion to close the meeting close, uh, the, close the hearing close the hearing yep that's second soon what time <laughs> Any second? Second. Okay, so the motion has been made and it's been seconded to uh, close the uh, April 22nd, 2015 Planning Board hearing, meeting. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? One missing. Great. Good job, everybody. Thank you. All right, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs> 50, uh, Did you let the powers to be know?